Today's Photoshop tip is one that I have found over the years extremely useful. As you can see here, I've got part of this image missing and I need to put some image back into this picture. But see how my horizon line here is straight. It wasn't quite that straight a little earlier on though. Let me show you what I mean. Oh dear. I was sitting on the beach at the time and sometimes I can get a little uh, lazy with the fact that the camera can get so heavy. So I have a very unhorizontal horizon. The tip I'm going to show you today is one of the easiest tips um, and I was amazed that I didn't know about it when I found out about it. But it's not until somebody points out to you uh, that you can use the ruler for straightening horizons that you even realize it's there. Under the eyedropper tool you'll find a tool called the ruler tool. Now of course you can use the ruler tool for creating measurements and all that sort of thing but we're going to click up once and then drag it down to the other end of my horizon and if I now go up to image, image rotation there's a thing here called arbitrary and if I click on that it will show me the exact angle in which I need to turn or rotate this canvas to get my horizon straight. So I can click on OK and ta-da! I have a straight horizon. Now of course I'm going to have to build in some more sky in this site but we're Photoshop experts so that's easy. But what I do want to keep in is the dog and I also want to keep in the shadow of the dog. I think that's rather important just the way that that's laid out there. I can add some sky and sea and sand here um, simply with some of the other tools and we'll look at that at different um, Photoshop videos. Voila! A very simple tip that can save you lots and lots of time.